Hi, Diego. How do you do? All right. We rotated, we seared this on nine minutes on one side, eight minutes on the other, and we're setting it for a three minute rotate. And hopefully we'll get a little more burnt on the outside and have a nice juicy inside. Also, I did not squish the steak with the basket. It's actually on the highest setting it can be on and it hasn't flopped around yet. So I think I kind of squished it too much last time and I didn't sear it enough on each side. We're trying ribeye steak in the barbe showtime barbecue rotisserie. That fat's looking good. Alright, here it is done. We're just letting it rest a bit. Got a little bit of garlic rice going on there. And we have our steak. Look at the steam come off of there. What's that? All right, I just want to comment on a longer rotisserie, t or longer sear time, nine and eight minutes per side, and a shorter rotisserie time, four minutes per side, made a much better taste because the skin actually got burnt a little bit although it actually is um, more done this is medium so uh, you can make a nice tasting steak in a rotisserie just have to sear it more all right we're here in my kitchen we're rotisserying up some ribeye steak we've tried this three times now First time we had them steak, I squished the meat too much with the basket. That's okay. The second time, and I didn't sear it long enough either. Second time, I did not squish the meat, and I seared it longer, but it still wasn't quite a long enough sear, and an interesting thing happened. After I let the steak rest, I cut into it. It was like a medium done. By the time I got about halfway through the steak, it was starting to get rarer. Um, not because I was in the middle, just blood started coming out of the meat and it was a rarer steak than I had originally anticipated and guessed. And I'm not sure what this phenomenon is going on here with the rotisserie and rareness, but we're trying it again with two steaks, third time, two steaks, 10 minutes here per side, and we're going to see how that works. Hopefully it'll be delicious like I think it will. steak and this one is mine so we'll just cut through the middle so what I did was I did a sear for 10 minutes per side I rotated it for five to six minutes and then I did a no heat rotate for five minutes to let the juices seep back in and it looks like it's almost medium not quite but as I mentioned, last time I cooked this, it actually got juicier as we went along on the eating process. The juices started coming out again. So, Just my simple salt and pepper. You can put whatever you want on yours when you do it, but that's what I chose. And it's nice and steaming hot. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's better than the barbecue, but it's certainly better than a frying pan. Maybe not a cast iron frying pan. I haven't used those yet, but if you can't get to a barbecue or broil it, this is a good way to do it. Thank you for watching. See you later, YouTube. Bye, Diego.
Alright, I just want to comment on this longer shear time, shorter rotisserie time. <coughs> Alright, we're going to try roasting some taters in the speed basket here.